Here on Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. If you want to sign up for our daily digest, our news headlines every day and news alerts, you can text the word democracy now, one word, no space, democracy now to 66866. That's democracy now to 66866. Juan? Well, we end the show in Minnesota. Governor Mark Dayton has condemned us as terrorism Saturday's attack on the Dar al Farouk uh, Islamic Center in Bloomington, the largest mosque in Minnesota. The explosive device was thrown through the mosque's office's windows around 5 a.m. as people were gathering for morning prayers. No one was injured, but the bombing shattered windows and damaged the office. This is Minnesota Governor Mark Dayton. What a terrible, dastardly, cowardly, terrible act this was that was committed yesterday. It's a crime. As somebody said in the meeting, if this were the rules were reversed and it would be called a terrorist attack. And that's what it is. It's an act of terrorism. <clears throat> The FBI has taken over the investigation, but so far, President Trump has not said or tweeted a word about the attack. Since the attack occurred on Saturday, Trump has sent out over 25 tweets, but not one about the mosque attack. Islamophobic attacks against Muslims in mosques across the United States have been rising since President Trump was elected. Minnesota is home to the nation's largest Somali-American community, which has faced a surge of hate crimes to levels not seen since the aftermath of 9-11. While overall hate crimes reported by Minnesota law enforcement agencies dropped by 25 percent since 2010, Crimes against Muslims have continued an upward trend. To talk more about the attack, we go to Minneapolis, where we're joined by Mohammed Omar. He's executive director of the Dar al Farouk Center. Uh, he was in the mosque when the attack occurred on Saturday morning, thankfully not in his office. Um, we welcome you to Democracy Now! Can you talk about what happened Saturday morning, Mohammed Omar? Yeah, um, Saturday morning, about, about 5 a.m., um, when we were pre uh, preparing to go to first prayer, which is called, in Islam called for, uh, prayer of Fajr, um, one of our uh, worshippers was walking from outside, coming into the building, and he saw a pickup truck standing next to our imam's office window, and he heard a splash, and then when, you know, uh, a sound of, like, a broken window, he ran to the, you know, uh, scene, and uh, Im immediately, the truck and the driver, they fled, they, he fled from the scene while he was speeding his, his truck. Then he saw smoke coming from the window, and he ran to the inside to the building, uh, came to inform us there's a smoke coming from the window. As he was speaking, an explosion, very loud explosion happened that I was next, I was in, in the building. I thought, like, the whole building almost collapsed or something huge happened. So. We all came out. We ran out, you know, outside, and you know, saw this uh, huge, you know, uh, shattered of glass and you know, smoke coming out from the, this window. Uh, this is the this is the room. This is the office of our imam. And immediately we called, we contacted with 911, and uh, thank God the damage. Did, nobody was hurt, but again the event was awful, and it was. Uh, I mean, I never imagined that we would be bombed in the middle of, uh, in the heart of Bloomington, that where we every day come for our prayer. And again, this is our community center, our mosque. This is our youth and family center. So that was that was very sad to, I mean, to experience that experience. And about how many people were in the vicinity at the time? Uh, and also, have you been? Has uh, your mosque received any other threats uh, uh, recently uh, uh, that would give you cause to think that somebody might want to harm uh, the uh, uh, the worshippers of the mosque? Um, I would say, you know, uh, we received some phone calls that, in the past, that showing some of the people that, you know, are using bad language or kind of uncomfortable with us or they talking to us in, an, in, an, in, a, in a very bad way. But not really threats that I could consider, you know, that people would, you know, say, uh, we will come and kill you or we'll do this to you. But again, I mean, uh, in this, for the last, you know, election season, ele you know, in, in, in Minnesota, you know, we've seen many, you know, incidents and many acts that, you know, similarly, you know, uh, incited by 
either hate crime or you could tell that uh, a discriminatory, you know, statements at, uh, towards maybe. I mean, some of the people would uh, walk in the middle of night and say something to uh, uh, one of the worshiper or one of the worshiper was walking by and he, you know, experienced a high-speeding car uh, and next to him and then say in bad language. But yet, I mean, we've seen a lot since. I mean, the last election. But not specifically something that mm -hmm. I could say. We, we did report to the police and say, you know, this is a threat, you know, directly a threat that we can uh, uh, consider as, a, as an— as a Muhammad, I want to right, go, go back to just before Election Day, then the candidate, Donald Trump, railing against Somali immigrants. This is what he said. Here in Minnesota, you've seen firsthand the problems caused with faulty refugee vetting, with large numbers of Somali refugees coming into your state without your knowledge, without your support or approval, and with some of them then joining ISIS and spreading their extremist views all over our country and all over the world. Honestly, it's hard to believe. It's hard to believe. And everybody's reading about the disaster taking place in Minnesota. Everybody's reading about it. You don't even have the right to talk about it. You don't even know who's coming in. You have no idea. That was President Trump on the week of the election, but before he was elected. Mohammed Omar, we just have 20 seconds. He has not tweeted a word about what your governor has called this terrorist attack on your mosque. Your response to President Trump. Okay, again, uh, this campaign or that rally happened like five miles away from our center. I mean, just let, let me make, you know, very clear. Our mosque is located in Bloomington, and the airport, uh, Minneapolis-St. Paul Airport, is located like five miles away from our center. We have center. 10 seconds. So when, when this, yeah, okay, when this happened, I mean, I would say that is, I mean, that's what most of the you know, ignorant people would, you know, uh, would take, uh, uh, see that as an as, as We as have to leave it there. Muhammad you know, Omar, I want to thank you for being okay. with us. I'm Amy Goodman with one.